This video will cover some of the changes implemented to Syncrify Client version 4.2. One of the first changes in Syncrify Client version 4.2 is the overall look of the new interface. When you first open up your client, you will be brought to the connection parameter screen on the left side. This is the tab with the check mark and the key, as you can see here. This tab just hosts your profile information as well as your server information, login information, when it was last run and when it will next run again. Most of our changes happened in the files and folders to backup tab. This is the second tab underneath the connection parameters tab on the left hand side. One thing you will notice about this tab is that whatever you are selecting on the right side it will show detailed information about that specific item. For example, if we click on demo the right side will show us information regarding what we are selecting, such as the profile name, when the scheduler is scheduled to run, and when it has last ran. If I open up the profile, it will give me a list of all of these subfolders and files within that profile. In this case, there's just one folder, Syncrify Demo. You will also notice that the right hand side has changed to display more information about the specific folder. If I open up the Syncrify demo folder and navigate down to a file level, you will notice that the right hand side has changed to give information regarding this specific file, whether it is on the client, on the server, and what the size is and the modified date on each side. Another change we've added in version 4.2 is the ability to search for specific folders or specific files. If you have hundreds or sometimes thousands of folders and files, it can be hard to navigate to that specific one you're looking for. What we've done is we've allowed you to search for the specific name of one, such by highlighting its parent. In this case, let's highlight documents, and I'm going to search for the accounting folder by typing ACC. It brings me right to the accounting folder. Now, if accounting had another hundred or thousand files within it, and I wanted to search for just the tax file, I would type TAX, and it would bring me right to the tax file. Another feature we've added is changes to the included and excluded folders. If you want to exclude a file or include a file that you've already excluded, you can right click on that and hit ignore file. This will bring up a new menu showing all of your excluded files and folders. In this case, it is just Syncrify, Demo, Documents, Accounting, Tax. If I click on this, I can hit the delete key, which will remove that from the deleted folder. As you can see, it's been re-included or I can right click and hit include file or use the shortcuts control T. Control T will also remove and include files. We've also made some changes to the additional options pane. This is noted by the cog with the pencil. If you navigate to this, you'll notice in the scheduler I currently have it disabled. I can either set it to daily or interval. I set it to daily and I select which days I want as well as time, an hour, and minutes. I can save that and you'll notice in other tabs, it will now say when the scheduler is running, such as daily, or my next run is now set to the daily scheduler. We've removed the more button and transferred all of those options into the advanced tab. In the advanced tab, you'll notice the send email report to box. In here, you can specify an email address that you would like the daily reports to go to, whether that be an admin or the client itself. If it is left blank, it will refer to whatever the login email is. However, please note that on the server side, if you enable aliases and specify an alias, that will overwrite anything that is put into this box, regardless if it is checked on or off. We've also added an undo feature to version 4.2. If you've accidentally made changes to some of the settings, maybe you went to the files and deleted some files that you didn't mean to delete, you can always hit the escape key, and you'll see that everything went back to exactly how I had it when the profile was first used. We have also removed the Restore button from the Files and Folders tab. If you wish to restore, right-click on the file you wish to restore, navigate to Restore, and choose the selected folder to restore the currently selected folder or file. If you wish to restore the entire profile, click Entire Profile. In the Advanced tab of Additional Options, you will also notice a change to the Backup button. If you go to Direction Client to Server, it states Backup. If you go to two-way sync, it states synchronize, and if you go to server to client, it states restore. If you would like additional information on how to navigate through Syncify, whether it be client or server, please visit our website and check out our knowledge base articles or contact our support team.